Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing another gaming review, and this is for the Asus Memo Pad 7. This is the ME572C version, so make sure you note that. And we're going to start off with all these games. So we're going to go into Sonic, then Spider-Man 2, Modern Combat 5, and then Asphalt 8. So let's try it out. Now I will say you should note, like when I grab certain parts, the speakers are on the left and right side, so we'll talk about that. And if there's ever any overheating, I'll let you know about that as well. Let's turn this down a little bit. So it seems to be running okay. I feel like the graphics definitely are a little bit this is an ASIC, ASUS, or sorry, ASUS Intel graphics card, so I wasn't expecting the exact best, but definitely not as detailed as we've seen on other devices. At least no lagging though whatsoever, which is always nice. But yeah, with all the movement, it moves fine. It's just that it doesn't look as well as I would say it should. All right, now let's go into Spider-Man 2. It's a bit of an older game, but it's a good third-person game to kind of see how it looks um, from that position. So let's try it out and see how it does. Zoom in a little bit more. I must admit, the even though they're not the nicest looking on the side, the uh, bezel definitely gives you a bit more gripping room, so you can really kind of hold it, and you're not worried about tapping it. The only part is, is that I feel more and more uh, at times I have to be careful with covering these speakers on the left and right side. Definitely not the best graphics this game can offer. At least the suit looks pretty detailed, but yeah, I've definitely seen this game put out better graphics. Alright. Again, he looks good, but like everything around him looks bad. <laughs> so, not sure if I want to count that as uh, being able to handle the graphics. It looks like the police need my help. I mean, at least it's no lag. That's one thing I will give it. Definitely no lag. Again, this is a inexpensive tablet, so none of them are ever really known for gaming. But. One thing, the fact that I was able to hold uh, so many games in at once is definitely on the plus side. It's 16 gigs worth, so I was able to load them. Let's see how the planes are, or the uh, gliders.
Oh. Don't know where it is anymore. At least the gliders look decent. Decent. Alright. Let's test out the next game, and that's going to be Modern Combat 5. Now this is a first-person shooter game, so for all of you guys out there that love first-person shooters, that's going to be a great one. i just clean this a little bit. It's nice and shiny, and you can see me. All right. And this is set for optimum graphics. Uh, I wasn't able to change it. Uh, on the first level, so uh, we will have to see what optimum for this tablet looks like. If it looks really detailed, if it looks laggy, or if it looks just great graphics, we'll see. And headshot. The leader. Strike through the monarch. Target eliminated. Confirm extraction location. Over. He looks horrible compared to normal. And again, I wasn't expecting as much with an Intel graphics, but yeah. Definitely noticing some differences from the Qualcomm compared to this one, and even the Exynos. Even the splatter is like more, I don't know what you would call it, but it's definitely not as clean. It's not as liquidy, I guess, I don't know. Hey, what's up? So yeah, the guns, everything you can tell, I think the graphics quality is just a bit lower than normal. Um, yeah, it just does not look as good as I'm used to uh, on Qualcomm processors. I mean, it, it handles some graphics good, but just others are definitely a miss. Let's try the last game, that is Asphalt 8. Now this one, I forced it to be the highest quality, so we'll see how it does with that. 
One thing I love about the uh, asphalt is the fact that you can actually force it to be the best quality. So we can really see how it, how not only it displays, but also how good it's going to play overall with this higher quality. All right, we'll try an oldie but goodie. Hmm. I forgot which one I had. Let's just go for this one. All right, in this last game, we'll try out, guys, and then you will tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Would you get this for gaming, or is it good enough, or is it not what you're looking for? You need something better, possibly. Now, this is a tilt controller. Let's change that. Ooh, well, just wanted to show you how, you know, what happens when you get an accident. Whoa, oh, I miss having a controller. Uh... I mean, definitely the graphics aren't what you normally see in high quality, but at least there's no lag to it so far. And again, really blocking the speakers throughout this entire game, I just realized that. Like, why is it so low? And I was blocking the speakers the entire time. If I didn't have this stand, I would be blocking the speakers, basically. But yeah, uh, so it seems to handle asphalt, actually, pretty decently. Just not sure about one you seem to cover the speakers up when you're playing most games. And two, it doesn't just seem to be at the level of uh, higher quality ones. Pretty decent overall. In terms of heat that I just felt right now, there is a bit of heat coming from this area where the camera is. Uh, but other than that, not that bad at all and doesn't overheat as much as some other devices have when playing these intense games. So overall, good device for gaming, not great, but it doesn't seem like it'll stutter or lag at least, which is, if that's all that matters to you and just no stuttering and lagging, then you're perfect for this one for gaming. If you want better quality graphics, though, this one's not for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.